So with this setup, what we'll do is talk about the different features, and then afterwards I'll show you a quick demo of everything um, put together. So first let's start with the cables. Now with this you have a 6 foot U-Green cable. It's braided, it's 4K rated, and then you only need one cable to get you started, but this is a 3K, 3 monitor docking station, so you would have to have um, two other cables, display ports, but uh, this will get you started. I like braided cables because they have a little more give than regular cables, and then plus at the ends, if you use them a while, if they're kind of at an angle, these will start to fray after a while um, if they're not braided. So I do like braided cables over standard cables. And then here, this is an anchor cable. It's six foot as well. This is braided, so you know, go with the trend. And then these is for power. So you're going to hook this up to the power brick and then um, to the docking station. So next you have the power brick. It is 140 watts. For this docking station, you only need a hundred watts, but I like to have a little bit of cushion, but it doesn't really matter because you're never really gonna max out a hundred watts unless you're using all three monitors, all the ports, and you're running everything all at once. That's the only way you're gonna come close to it, so you're pretty good um, at a hundred watts. You probably won't max that out. So you have the prongs that'll pop out and you can put in. It's good for traveling, so nothing's poking a bag or anything like that. And then for the back, you have uh, three inputs. You have a USB-A, then you have a USB-C that's 100 watt power delivery, and you have another USB-C that's 140 watt power delivery. This is a single 140 watts. Some of the other ones, it's 100 watts total. This one will do 140 watts out of just a single port. You're not adding up, it's, what is it, like, I don't know, 35, 35, something, something like that. Um, no, this is 140 watts total out of one port. So definitely like that. This is heavy, so if you put it into a socket that's a little weak, it may start to sag out, so just be mindful of that. Um, besides that, let's check out the docking station. As you can see here, this is my setup. I have the two 34-inch monitors. I have my MacBook Air. I'm using a keyboard, a 10 key, and a mouse. Now here is the brick with the power cable going to the docking station. So underneath here is a docking station that belongs to a Windows laptop. This is the docking, U-Green docking station. I have a display port cable going to one of the monitors. I have the U-Green braided cable, HDMI, going to the other monitor. And then I have the USB-C cable going out to the MacBook Air that's, that powers and delivers everything. This is the power cable that goes to the power brick. And this is uh, controlling my mouse. And then in front, I have this connected to a powered USB hub because you can never have too many ports. And this is powering my keyboard and many other things. And then this is the power button on top. And then if you can see here, there's a little light to let you know that it's on. So with the full setup, you can see I can control all three monitors, like so. But you do need special software. It's called Displays Link software. In order to get a MacBook to display three uh, monitors, you will have to download this software. And that is a separate download that you will have to get once you do that, this should all work. As you can see here, everything works. Hope this helps. Take care.